Is your shield up? Pollution, noise, traffic, work overload, pressure, deadlines, electromagnetic radiation. Are the stresses and strains of modern life wearing you out? Legend reveals that the ancients utilized talismans and shields for protection and good luck. The word talisman is derived from the Greek telesma, which means a consecrated object. Our ancestors thought talismans contained sacred powers, and because they were worn on the body, their powers were thought to be continually accessible to the wearer. Today, we require even greater protection than long ago. Rather than dueling or jousting with the enemy and opponent, we battle against the forces of modern life, whether we realize it or not, and it wears us down. We need modern solutions to deal with these subtle forces. The bioelectric shield, a scalar wave generator, was invented by Dr. Charles Brown, who drew from modern science and ancient folklore. The shield contains a specific configuration of quartz and other crystals which are embedded in a silver pendant with brass, silver, or gold accents. It's an attractive piece of jewelry with a rich and magical tradition. Crystal shields and talismans have biblical and legendary use for protection and good luck. As recorded in Exodus, Aaron was commanded by the Lord to wear a breastplate of 12 gems when entering the holy place. The Egyptian king Tutankhamun was buried in a tomb embedded with precious gems for protection and good fortune in the afterworld. In Camelot, King Arthur's sword Excalibur is described by some as made of clear crystal. His knights of the round table wore armor and shields when questing for the Holy Grail. Some believe that gems and crystals possess a mystical quality that transcends their physical beauty, that they interact with many other energies conveying benefits to the wearer. Physicists have demonstrated that crystals in specific patterns can reflect other energy frequencies that are different than their own. In 1914, Max van Lau won the Nobel Prize in Physics by showing that X-rays could be reflected and redirected with a zinc sulfide crystal, the same way mirrors are used to reflect and redirect visible light. One year later, William Bragg and his son won the Nobel Prize in Physics for establishing Bragg's Law, which determined the specific lattice spacing of crystals needed to reflect any type of electromagnetic energy. Davison and Thompson shared the 1937 Nobel Prize in Physics for showing that particles such as electrons and hydrogen atoms are deflected by crystals in exactly the same way that electromagnetic energy is deflected. Crystals are successfully utilized in many industrial applications. Modern science makes extensive use of the fact that different crystals resonate at different frequencies. The first shortwave radios and electric quartz watches were made of quartz crystals. Quartz and other crystals amplify and stabilize certain fixed frequencies of vibration. For the same reason, the first lasers were made from rubies. Man-made crystals are used in laser technology. Laser weapons, once a subject reserved for Star Trek, could be used as a potential missile defense system. Criticized as fantasy, the reality is lasers may be able to direct intense light energy to actually destroy incoming missiles. Electromagnetic energy, as well as sound, light, and other energy, travels in waves. Electromagnetic fields are measured as frequency. Frequency is a function of wavelength and is measured in hertz. The Earth has a constant electromagnetic field measured at 8 hertz. Human beings are thought to have a biomagnetic field, sometimes called the human aura. Curlian photography has been used to capture the human aura on film. The energy in the human aura is outpictured as light and colors of varying hues. The normal frequency of the human brain during working hours ranges from 8 to 20 hertz. Some researchers claim that brain frequencies of 7 to 9 hertz produce relaxation and a state of meditation. Because the Earth has the same frequency as the human brain when relaxed, it is termed the Earth Brain Frequency. The stresses and strains of modern life are an energy burden. Urban pollution, noise, traffic, long hours at work, pressure, electromagnetic radiation. Although you may not realize it, these subtle forces invade your energy field and aura and wear you down. The ancients took advantage of their shields to protect them against harm. As a result of the so-called conveniences of modern life, you need even greater protection than your ancestors. The bioelectric shield is a beautiful piece of jewelry with a rich and ancient tradition. It's a magical blend of revered legend and Nobel Prize winning science. Attractive, comfortable and portable, the shield's benefits are readily available to the wearer. Is your shield up? When I wear the shield, I feel I have more energy, greater clarity of thought, and better perception. 
Damien Brinkley, author, Saved by the Light, a New York Times bestseller. Amazing. After years of laboring under fluorescent lights and with computers, I now feel I have energy and ambition. A. Hill, lab technician, UCLA. Air travel isn't nearly as fatiguing, stressful, or mentally draining. Dr. J. D'Onofrio, chiropractic neurologist. I don't have the fatigue at the end of the day that I used to have, particularly during tax season. Mel McNay, CPA.